briefly about how we use derivatives in economics. Now, we've seen how derivatives relate to velocity and to acceleration, okay? We see that when we're looking at the first and second derivative. But also derivatives will refer to what we call marginals in economics. Now, marginals is just what is, at that moment, what is the rate at which it's costing me to produce an item, and what is the rate of money I'm making at that moment. So we typically use R of X to represent the revenue of production. How much money are you making? And C of X is usually the notation for the cost of production. So if we take the first derivative of cost in respect to X, which is the item of production, or we can also refer to that as C prime of X, this would be the marginal cost of production. Or another way of saying that is, how much does it cost me to make one more unit? So how much does it cost to make one more unit? So it's the rate of change at that value. Now, when we take the derivative, make one more unit. When we take the derivative of rate of change, of the revenue, then that would say to make one more unit, how much more money am I bringing into the company? And you have to decide what is your break-even point. So again, C of X is cost. And if we think of it in regards to limits and such, if we look at one item, what is the cost to produce something slightly more? So in this example, we're looking at tons of steel, steel where X represents a ton. So what is the cost difference then? So that would be the change in Y, the cost difference, divided by the average, divided by the, divided by the number of units produced, which would be the change of X. This would give us the average cost of production. Now, the derivative would tell us then, at that moment of production, what is the cost to make one more ton of steel? So loose definition is let H equal one more unit. Let's do an example. So let's say I'm producing radiators, okay? And this is the function that represents the cost of producing radiators. Um, and we're going to be looking at radiator production. We're going to be looking at 10 radiators. But first of all, let's find out, well, actually, what is the average cost of producing 10 radiators, okay? So what I would do is I would find the total cost divided by 10, okay? So we would just substitute the value 10 into the function. So we would have 10 cubed minus 6 times 10 squared plus 15 times 10, all divided by 10. And when we do the mathematics, we end up with $770 as the total cost divided by 10. So it costs us. When we produce 10 radiators, on average, each radiator costs $77. So that's a good number to keep in mind as I look at marginal cost and revenue. So average cost when making 10 is $77 per radiator. Okay. Now, knowing that fact, it helps us to make a decision then as a businessman or woman as far as then does it make sense for me to produce 11 or 12, where is my breaking point? Now the revenue here, whoa, sorry folks, uh -huh. come back to me. So the revenue then, I could find out what would be my revenue for making 10. And again, we would just plug in 10 cubed minus three times 10 squared plus 12 times 10. And to find the average cost per radiator, we would divide by 10. Now I didn't do this one ahead of time, sorry folks. So it's 1,000 minus 300 plus 120 divided by 10. So that's what, 700, 820 divided by 10. So on average, I'm making $82 a radiator. So my average revenue, whoops, revenue, when I make 10 radiators, is about $82 per radiator. Okay, now let's talk about would it make sense for my company then to make maybe 11 radiators? Is the revenue better then? Okay, so we're going to look at the derivative then. What is the marginal cost? 
So what would be the derivative then at 10? What's the rate of change to make one more? So we know the derivative function would be 3x squared minus 12x plus 15. And then if I substitute 10 into the function, this will be the rate of change. So the answer is $195. So that would be the cost of producing one more radiator. So this is the cost to produce one more radiator. Remember, it's the slope, the change in y, which is cost, over the change in ra over radiators. The cost of producing one more radiator. Now that seems a little high, doesn't it? Because at this point, our average production is $77 for one radiator. Okay. Well, now let's see if it makes sense then for um, revenue. So let's find what would be the revenue then, the marginal revenue. So using the revenue function, we have 3x squared minus 6x plus 12. And then if we substitute the value 10 in, we end up with $252. So that is the revenue by making one more radiator a day. Now we also noticed before we were making $82 per radiator. And all of a sudden now we're making $252. So what's the difference between the cost and the revenue? That would be my profit. And is it worthwhile for, what, $60 approximately to create then to make one more radiator? So these are called marginals. The marginal in cost, the marginal in rate. It's the unit change, okay, at that moment. There you go. That should help you with your homework. See you in class. Have a great weekend.